what we do is we'll try to connect one led and we'll assume that this one led is any of my appliances and uh, this one led uh, we can con will control it from our android application right and uh, what will what will be the other thing that we'll do is this particular microcontroller is connected with the wi-fi at the same time your mobile phone is also connected with the wi-fi and here you can see that the wi-fi of what your device is connected and wi-fi of the mobile phone which is connected should be same means your board or your sensor and your mobile phone should all should be in a same network getting it so if you are in the same network then how you can control your appliances that we'll see today do you get the get the uh, experiment that we are going to do so we'll take only one led not two led so one whenever we want to control one led to on and off will use the mobile application in the mobile application there is a constraint like this particular device which is connected with the internet and your mobile phone both will be in a same network now so Let's see the code for that. Now this is the code for it. Here we have used uh, the ESP8266 Wi-Fi module because we want to connect this particular device, this uh, node MCU to be connected with the Wi-Fi, right? So that's why we are including it. We have defined a constant variable and then we are taking the wi-fi client and the wi-fi server uh, object so server we are taking as a one uh, 80 number port so you all know that the 80 number port of uh, the your system is for the http uh, protocol so with the help of http TT protocol your mobile phone and your android application will talk to each other HTTP is stand for hypertext uh, transfer protocol HTTP, right? This HTTP we use in our web applications also. Second thing I have used the, uh, the Wi-Fi for that. I'll use the SSID of that particular Wi-Fi means username and the password of the Wi-Fi. So this is the Wi-Fi or the access point of my lab. So this is my lab internet and cloud computing lab and this is the password of that particular micro uh, the uh, the access point so with the same access point i'll connect i'll try to connect my mobile phone also then i'll i'll take a, a string called command in that we'll put the commands whatever commands we'll get from the android application okay uh, then leave this one is of no use or you can okay I'll explain it serial dot begin is uh, is for enabling the serial monitor so what will happen is uh, when we write any code or any program like C C plus plus Java any IDE so whenever we want any type of output uh, we get the output in our in one console right uh here uh in in um, uh, this uh, android led uh, android id we have one type of console that is called serial monitor okay that serial monitor to enable that serial monitor will use this particular uh, command called serial dot begin uh, another this is nothing but the baud rate baud rate uh, which will be used for communicating with the microcontroller and your id 
next is the pin so as we have just seen that how we can set the pin so this is my led one which is actually connected with the d2 pin and uh, i made it as the output pin and initially i'll make it low means initially it is off then uh, this is the function to connect with the wi-fi and then this is that how we can uh, uh, we can start the server so uh, as you all know that uh, whenever we required this when we required this http protocol it is uh, working in a hypertrax uh, transmission protocol http and uh, it it uses for the uh, web application so and you know that any web application like any if you'll create any site or any home page or any page uh, of html it it work or it it work uh, in the web server and uh, you should have a web server to host any web page right so in that way we have to make this particular microcontroller as a web server so that the http transmission and reception could be done so it is an internal process that will be done we just have to use server.begin so that the http is going to work next it is in the setup so it it is this these all these five commands will run once in the lifetime the next it will be a loop so in the loop what we do is uh, the server dot available will give you the client value and it says that if not client then return means if it will give you like client is available or not so if client is not available means your connection is not established then will just return otherwise we'll go and and see see this so it will it is a function called check client check this with the help of check client we actually try to see what command a client is giving or uh, your mobile application is giving so it will give some command and command will go to the command and then we'll will see that that what is my command either it says this r1 as on or it say on or it say o n n right so any of these it will say then we'll make it led one as high and if we'll say uh, r1 off or off or off any 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 of this command it will receive then it will make it low uh, there is another logic that we have used here uh, that it can say all off or turn all off or turn all off right so in that way so if we have more than one appliances so to controlling it we are we are using it so turn all off turn all on in that way so we'll make it low if it this command will be heard and then we'll send back that command to the application and uh, this command will be again empty and then again it will take uh, ready to take another command uh, you can see this uh, uh, connect wi-fi uh, this connect wi-fi function what is the use is defined here this is the connect wi-fi what it will do is it will print in the serial monitor connect to wi-fi and then it will begin the process of wi-fi connection with ssid that is the username of the uh, access point and the password of the access point and it will do uh, it will uh, wait for some time till the status is not connected means this wl connect connected should be one if it is not one then it will wait once it the, they have established the connection then it will say wi-fi connected and node mcu local ip and it will print the ip what ip is your node is getting because we we need to connect uh, if we want to connect it to the internet definitely we need the ip address then there is a check client function which is a check client function this is the check client function 
in the check client function will try to get the command right so what it is written it is written is uh, is client is available if it is available then it will make a delay of 1 millisecond or uh, 1 millisecond and then it will take the read string whatever string it is it is there in that particular uh, command it will just take it and then it will remove uh, uh, the request and remove the request length also all requests will be removed after taking it and it will just return the request and uh, after that there is a send back echo that actually will not use but it is it is there like if you want to send anything from this particular microcontroller to our application so for that send back is used and it is called here send back echo command that the same command will send back so for that we'll just print the http uh, 200 ok and then uh, the document html the html in the html will write echo okay that actually we'll see into the web page I'll, I'll show you so whenever we we have off it will show off it is on it is on it will, it will show us okay it will show us in a separate web page where we'll use the uh, http so this is your uh, program that is uh, with the only one appliances only one appliance will be connected to it so so for that i'll just draw the connection and then we'll go and creating the uh, mobile application okay so as you can see here we have connected two LEDs, right? Now I need only one, so I'll just remove one. And I need it to connect to D2, right? So ground will be there and I will just connect it to D2. So it is connected to D2. So as you know, this we have connected to D2 okay right now uh, I want you all of you to go to the uh, the site uh, the site is my t2 app inventor so you just write mit2 app inventor so you will get these links just go to mit app inventor login here you can log in with any of your uh, email id which is better you will create uh, you will connect it with your Mm, gmail account okay now login to mi inventor mi2 app inventor and then you can come in this particular okay so this is i'll take the fresh one i'll just connect it with another one So I have uh, open one, open one. Now in this particular, uh, when you come here, uh, this particular window. So I think if you have used it, uh, 
your project is there otherwise there is no project you can go to a button called start new project just click on the start new project then it will ask you the project name and just give the project name so what we want to do is we want to uh, mimic the home automation yeah or yeah home automation you can say or a smart home a smart home uh, using uh, the wi-fi okay or within the network so i'll just write i'm just writing a smart home wi-fi you can write anything depend upon uh, what you want to do here right so this is uh, after doing that this screen will open as you can see here we have four different windows or four different parts uh, in this particular uh, ui and uh, here if you'll see here we have two buttons one is the design one is the design and there is a block so we are in the design so whatever we design here uh, your application will be the will be look like the same okay uh, will be look like uh, what it will design here now what we do is uh, so as, as you can see we have a four part the first part is called platter another part is called viewer next is the component another is the property so in the platter we have different uh, options uh, different component that we can choose so here the first one is the user interface here we have a uh, different uh, component called button checkbox label <clears throat> notifier okay, text box uh, web viewer all those things are there then we have uh, another one which is called layout uh, layout component then we have media component where we have different media component called camera camcord <clears throat> sound text to speech all those things then we have draw and animation in that we have uh, another component and then map and then sensor sensor in sensor we have different type of sensors which will which we generally have in the mobile phone then we have social in that way we can connect to the social uh, media and we can share uh, something here by clicking and it will be connected to that particular social media that we can do then we have storage different type of storage like uh, cloud database file tiny deep database tiny web uh, database then we have the connectivity that how we can connect it like web serial connectivity uh, bluetooth server bluetooth count and active start okay so we have all those components in the experiment we have another fire database fire uh, uh, cloud uh, and the extension we, we you can actually import some more extension that you require if you require any extension you can import it so this is the user interface that we have here is the screen that is visible to us and when we design it and when you install in our adreno uh, mobile phone it will be look like this then we have different uh, component whatever we'll put here the component will come here so the first component default component is a screen and when i'll click the screen the property of the screen is here so these are the property of the screen right that is that is visible here now the first thing that that we'll do here is uh, so we have the screen as as you can see and we'll put uh, some uh, uh, we just uh, change the color of the screen first of all so for that we'll go to the background color here of the screen just make it to uh, some color like blue so my screen will be visible to blue right now okay then uh, align the left align right align so i'll make it center there's a horizontal align and this is the vertical align so vertical will be uh, from the top okay so we'll make it uh, the center in the top okay okay what is the title of your screen so if you want to give a title 
otherwise you make it blank no problem so there is nothing here right so this is my screen one now what i'll do is i'll put one label and i'll uh, write the name of the the application so this is my label i just drag and drop here there's my label label is here right so this label uh, i'll make it like uh, wi-fi uh, enabled home automation in that way so i'll just make into the text or this is the text right so whatever i'll write here it will be visible there so it is right wi-fi okay so this i made now what else we can do is we can change the height and width uh, okay we can increase the font here let's say 20 so see this is how it look like i'll make the color to white yeah so it is visible now yeah it is visible okay if you want you can make it bold okay okay so let's see this is my label i have put it here now the second thing what i'll do is uh, once i'll install this particular application in my mobile phone and when i want to connect it to the microcontroller uh, i should know the ip address of the microcontroller right so i'll use one text box here which will tell me the ip address uh, which which in which I'll put the IP address. Okay, so I'll put a text box. Where is the text box? See here. We have the text box I'll put it here. Okay, and uh, I just rename it like IP address in that way Okay, so what is the font size font size you make it at 16 means here we'll put the ip address so let it be will not do much uh, much changes here okay now uh, let's go to and uh, put the button so to putting the button let's go to the layout uh, we have the horizontal arrangement that we'll put here and uh, in between we'll put some gap so i'll take another label and i'll just put it in between and this particular label the text will be nothing and i'll just increase the height to some percent and width is okay so as you can see it is not visible to you because nothing is written in the label too but you will find the gap in between now in the horizontal arrangement you can see that there are two dots means we can put two components here in the horizontal arrangement so for that I'll take the button so I'll take one button and I'll put it here and I'll take another button and I'll put it here because in that we can put two components so here two components or two buttons are there now the first button I'll make it to uh, on my led another button will take it for off my led okay so let's draw this is the button one i'll make it like i'll just rename it it is the on button okay and for that i'll just write it here on it is in the center okay and the uh, default color will make it is as a, as a green okay this is a text color so we'll make it as a um, black let it be black the background color 
we can make it as a green because it is on button and we can just increase the width Okay, it's okay. Uh, I'll increase it to 30. Okay, now it is okay. Uh, you can make it bold, right? And you can increase the font size as a second. Or you can reduce it to 18. Yeah. Now the second button is for the off, so I'll make it off button. Now the button text, I'll make it off O F F I right here. Uh, the width, I made it 30%. So I'll make it the 30% for that also. And the default color, I'll make it red. Uh, I'll make it font bigger as 18. Right, so my buttons are ready. What else I have to do? I have to put one component that is called web. Okay. So web is a component that is required. So I'll put the web component here. So I can get the component which is from the connectivity. So I'll use the web component and then drag and drop here. This is my web component. Uh, with that, I can actually uh, do the uh, the use the uh, HTTP for that, right? HTTP, uh, I can do that because it is an invisible component. It is coming here, as you can see. Uh, here is a, as a non-visible component, and it is here. Now, my as my um, all requirement is done. Now I'll go to the blocks. Okay. Now come to the blocks. When I'll go to the blocks here, I'll put some logic here and I'll try to uh, put some uh, uh, program here. Okay. So whenever I'll click the on button, so where is my button? So all the component is coming here. Okay. This is the place where I'll get all the components. So as you can see, label, IP address, then uh, this on and off. All those are there. This is the text box, right? This is the buttons. So uh, let's say I, if I'll take the option of on. So when I'll click the on, then what will do? So I'll pick up the first option that is when on click. So this I'll take and drag and drop here. So when I click on, then what we have to do? Then I'll go to the web web component. So here we have the web component. Just click it here. You'll get many options. So I'll, I'll go for uh, set web one dot URL. So I'll set the URL first. So before sending any command, we'll see that in which URL or in which IP we have to send the command. So set uh, web one dot URL. This is there that I'll apply here, right? Now after that, uh, I'll just use the HTTP, right? And I'll just uh, see that the command also. So for that, I'll as well as uh, I'll take that particular IP address from the IP address, right? So this is my IP address and the, the text and here I'll put the IP address. So from this, I can take the text. So this text I'll apply. Uh, before that, I have to put because I'll put the IP address here. I'll not put the HTTP and uh, call and double slash all those things I'll not put. So for that, I'll use uh, from the built in. I'll use the text, and uh, the first option is for the texting. So I'll, I'll put here what HTTP 
am double slash right that i'll put next i'll put this ip address and then i'll put the command so whatever command i want to so again i'll take the text and i can use the command let's say uh, i'll take it on right so this on will go whenever uh, whenever i'll click the on button but to add all these three things http then ip address then on i need some logic which can add all those things so we'll have in the text we have the option called join so it will join all the uh, string so first i have to join the http and then i have to join the ip address but it has only two options so i have to add another one so i'll just go here and I can put another string. Is it is it possible join? We can join three strings. Let's see. Right. So I can join these three strings. Okay. Uh, here it is HTTP uh, colon double slash, and then we have uh, IP address dot text means in the text box I'll put some IP address that IP address will be there and then on button on uh, signal will be I'll send it so this will be done and then uh, I'll use the web to get all those commands that is written okay so that's all this is the logic the same logic will apply for off also so this is for on let's go for off here also we'll pick when off dot click and we we'll apply the same right so i'll just copy and paste it here here instead of on i'll make it off right and then this will be used It's very simple, right? Uh, if you apply only these two logic, here it will add all those texts, all those, uh, you can see, all those uh, uh, string together and it will send the command in that way, on, on will go and off, off will go, right? Uh, at the same time, if you see the program, so the command, in the command, it will take on, right? And whenever it will find on, it will make it high. And whenever it will find it off, it will make it low. So in that way, my, my LED would be controlled. Now, the next thing that what we'll do is we'll just uh, compile our, uh, oh, sorry, our, Our logic here so go to the designer and uh, here we have the option like build so we'll just go to the build and we we'll just click here that says that provide ip code for dot apk so once we'll click it it is start it start compiling our program and at last it will give you the qr code so all of you uh, can open your mobile phone and ready with the qr scanner all of you do it so that this uh, you can install that particular application that that we have just created So it is taking uh, some one, two minute to compile it and then we'll see that uh, how it will be installed in your mobile phone. So uh, you have to give permission because this particular application is uh, not the uh, not the 
code which is generated by the android right so you are not getting it from the google application uh, server error could not build target please try again it says Uh, if you have any question till now, you can ask me because uh, it's taking uh, one, two minute for the compilation. You can unmute yourself and you can uh, ask me any question regarding uh, the experiment that we, are, uh, we have done till now. Think it is taking a lot of time. Uh, yes, and depend is 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 the uh, server given by MIT, right? So right. I don't know. Depend upon the load, they might have more load. That's why it is taking time. Okay, now it is 100%. Yeah. It is giving you the IP address, uh, sorry, QR code. QR code. So you just scan this QR code by your mobile phone. Go to the website. Once you will go to the website, it will download the .apk file. After downloading .apk file, you can install it in your mobile phone. So in my system, it is downloaded. I'm just opening it. It will give you some warning that you want to install it from the different source. So you just allow it. Okay, as you can see, uh, in my mobile phone, it has already been installed. Okay, so I just installed this one. Now this you can install by in your mobile phone also. Now, after uh, doing that, what we can do is, uh, we'll go to the code and we'll put the code into the microcontroller, the node MC, okay. So uh, I hope that all of you have scanned it. 
now i am going to the code okay uh, now i'll put this code into the my microcontroller so we'll just see whether it is connected or not okay now it is okay now i'll just upload it So as you can see, it is uploading the program. Now it is 100%. Let's see the serial monitor here. This is the button for the serial monitor. Okay. Yes, so now the Wi Fi is connected. Node MCU local IP is 10.0.0.202. Getting it? This particular IP address is actually required. So I'll just uh, take it the IP address 10.0.0.2.202. Okay, so that I'll put in my application. I'll just show you. Okay, so this is my mobile app again. I'm just putting it uh, 10.0.0.202. Right, so I have written it. Is it visible? I think, yeah, 10.0.0. Now I'll push the on button so it should on. Right, so this is my application with me. Right, this is my application. This is the so I'll just click the on button. Okay, uh, before that, this mobile should be connected to the same applic same access point. So I'll just connect it to the same access point. Okay, so I hope it's connected. <laughs> Now I'll click on on. Yeah, you can see it is on. I'll make it off. It is off. And again, make it on. So you can see that with the help of mobile and having in the same uh, having in the same uh, network, I can actually uh, control my appliances. So you can see off. It is off. You can on it is on right it is very simple off on off on off. see also it is very fast because it is sending the uh, this particular uh, data to the microcontroller in very fast way okay one more thing you can see